on. This is Chris Jones, you know who it is, with Physiques of Greatness. Right now I'm cooking. I'm cooking a healthy meal. This right here is gonna add muscle to you, okay? Serious muscle. And but also it's gonna keep your body fat levels low. You wanna bulk up, but you don't wanna fatten up. Okay? When you when you try to put on muscle, you don't wanna fatten up by adding the wrong kinds of carbs. You know, the white potatoes, the white breads, the white rices. You wanna keep your glycemic index balanced, okay? Now, right here is gonna be a healthy dinner. I want you to check it out, okay? And I want you to try it. First, you're gonna need this, okay? This is lean ground turkey, all right? 90-10. Not 85-10, not 80-20, 90-10. Now, if you can get 93.7, that's even better, okay? You cut it in half, make two 8-ounce patties. See this right here? This is a, a one-pound tube of meat. So if you cut it in half, you got two 8-ounce patties, okay? Smash them down. Put a little pepper on them. All right? If you like onions, chop some onions up, throw it in there too. And right here, check this out. You want to keep your sodium levels low. The reason is, when you, um, you, you, when, you, when you take out a lot of sodium, your body holds water weight, okay? Now, if your body's holding water weight, that's going to make it hard for you to look in the mirror and determine if you're fat or not. See, you can be real low in body fat, but if you're taking in a lot of sodium, you're going to appear real smooth. And you're going to be running and running, thinking that you're fucking fat, when really you're just holding water weight. So try to keep your sodium levels low, and I like to use Mrs. Dash. Zoom in, zoom in cameraman, right here, Mrs. Dash. See that? Salt free. All I, all I mess with is Miss Dash. I like a little Laurie's on the weekends when I'm having my hamburgers, but Monday through Saturday, you know what I'm saying, which is my clean days, all I mess with pepper and Miss Dash. Right here, this is garlic and herbs. And what's so good about having sodium-free seasonings, you can do as much as you want. Look at that. I can have as much as I want. You can't do that with salt. You do that with salt, you damn near kill yourself. All right? I can have as much as this as I want because it's sodium-free. Sodium-free and calorie-free. This right here is onion and herb, okay? I'm going to put as much as I want. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, I'm going to go with some more. This right here. Miss Dash, lemon pepper, I love lemon pepper, so put a little lemon pepper on there too. These are going to be some good 8 ounce patties, man. Alright, give me some foil, that way you ain't got to do no dishes, you know what I mean? Get some foil, alright. You ain't got to put no oil or nothing on there, but, you know, what the hell, get a little Pam olive oil spray, you know, spray it on there. Bam. Bam. Doesn't that look lovely? All right. Now, you need a good carb. I'm going to get a white potato. Psych. No white potatoes, man. Only time you can have white potatoes is on cheat days and like post-workout, right after you get done working out, when your glycogen levels need to be replenished. But other than that, Oh, the sweet potato, man. Sweet potato. And don't put no butter and sugar and all that shit on them. And that's, those are candy yams, okay? We're not making candy yams here. All right? I'm gonna do it. You can slice them up however you want. Some people, you know, they'll make potatoes with them, like french fries. Me, I just, I just slice them up, you know? That way they cook a little quicker, and then it, they give them a real good crispy taste, you know what I mean? Because me personally, I'm not really a big fan of sweet potatoes, but, you know, if you want the best results, you know, for your muscle building, you better go ahead and, you better get over it and go ahead and try it, because uh, sweet potatoes are one of the best carbs you can get. Got good starch. The carbs are complex. You know what I mean? Got fiber. It has everything you need. And they're kind of sweet, so 
That's going to satisfy your sweet tooth. Anyway, just chop it up. You know, however you want. You can chop it up in French fry style. Me, I just chop it up here. You know, just chop it up in little cubes. Ooh, I almost dropped that hoe. Anyway, just chop it up real good. You know what I mean? That way it cooked pretty quick. You, you do it like this, you can get it cooked in about 35, 40 minutes. But, you know, you let it cook whole, it'll take about an hour. You know. Anyway. Just chop it down. I need to get a better goddamn knife, man. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Much better. Much better. Man, much better. Just chop it on down, man. this about an hour ago this is how it's gonna turn out check it out I got my potatoes right here see nice and crispy mm -mm -mm. damn that's good boy here's my meat patties now look eat one meat patty with your potatoes all right eat this meat patty about two or three hours later all right meat patty potatoes um, since I'm bulking up, I'm going to have me a piece of wheat bread with it, you know what I mean? Make a little sandwich, you know what I'm saying? But, um, uh, I took this out. If you're trying to build muscle, cameraman, right here, all right. If you're trying to build muscle, but stay lean, Eat the meat and potatoes. And you can throw in a side salad or something. Now, if you're trying to bulk up like I'm trying to do, go ahead and make a sandwich with there. Haste potatoes with it. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and go hard. Now, if you're trying to just strictly stay lean, eat the meat by itself with two cups of vegetables. But um, I'm going to get more into the getting lean process later. Right now, I'm focused on building muscle and bulking up. All right? Anyway. I'm going to throw in the potatoes, throw in there, um, put the oven on about 400, alright, put it on 400, let it sit about 50 minutes to an hour, after about 45 minutes go check on it, you know what I mean, make sure the meat's not pink, make sure the potatoes are real tender, you know, juicy on the inside, you know, mm mm mm, God. That potato good as hell, boy. All right, look. Make sure the potatoes are tender on the inside, crispy on the outside. Make sure the meat is not pink and you're good. Now, if you want to be all technical about it, you can get you a thermometer, you know, and make sure the internal temperature is like 165. But, you know, I'm old school, man. I just make sure the meat ain't pink and I'm good, homie. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed my little meal. I got plenty more coming. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And if you got any questions, inbox me, man. You can hit me on Facebook or you can hit me on YouTube. But let me warn you, if you are not a Facebook friend and if you are not subscribed, look, if you're not a Facebook friend or if you're not a YouTube subscriber of mine, most likely I'm not going to respond to you, man, because that's freeloading. 
You either got to be a Facebook friend or a YouTube subscriber, one or the other. And I guarantee you, I'm going to respond to any notes you send me. I always respond to my notes. I keep it real, you homie. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed my meal. So once again, this is Chris Jones with Fazisa Greatness. Man, it's been a pleasure. More to come. Holla.